Call it a fight under the lights. McNicholas High School is celebrating its first football game under brand new stadium lights, but for some neighbors around the corner, it's a dark day. Nine on your sides, Kristen Swilly heard from both sides. She shares why this battle isn't over yet. Drive anywhere near the Archbishop McNicholas High School campus and you can tell people are excited about having night games in their own backyard, but it's also the backyard of some neighbors and they want to limit that light shine just a little bit. Donors raised money for stadium lights to give students the full Friday night football experience. This is awesome. The last 72 hours, it's been pretty crazy here. And the school argues the lights are state of the art and designed to illuminate the field without flooding the neighboring homes. They use the term foot candles where can you get it to zero at the property line and it really pops over the field. But like at the north end where the scoreboard is, that turn is dark. The city agreed to give McNicholas 20 nights, balancing the interest of the school and the neighbors. But McNick is appealing that decision. I don't have a lot of animosity towards the school. You know, they're doing what's best for their students and so forth. We're trying to do what's best, best for ourselves. We spoke to a man whose home backs right up to the stadium. He says the problem is bigger than the lights. It's the noise. What they're proposing is games that go up till 10 o'clock at night. Um, um, up to five nights a week, which is a little um, a lot in, in our eyes. From our perspective, it, it, it's a high school and you know, most high schools in this country, are, they have these kinds of events. And the first true test of those lights will be tonight at 730 in McNick's game against Goshen. Reporting in Mount Washington, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.